Hello, this is Haku Devine, and I am here with SAP 1066, Instant Education. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. If not, then, I don't know, stop watching, I don't... Anyway, let's get into it. SCP-1066. Did I say 166? My bad. Level 1 slash 1066 classified. I have a number. SCP-1066. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-1066 is to be kept in a document storage box large enough to contain it without folding or rolling. It should be stored on a standard shelving unit in the storage at site 23. Any personnel with level 2 or higher clearance wishing to run tests on SCP-1066 should be should speak with Dr. P. Arena. <sighs> Description: SCP-1066 is a college diploma issued by the University of Blank, dated on an unknown date before 2000. It is rented on a 0.5 by 0.3 sheet of parchment. No abnormalities are found in either the ink or the parchment and both match similar diplomas issued by blank in the 1900s. SCP-1066 is no more resistant to damage than any other uh, blank year old piece of parchment, so care should be taken while ha handling it to avoid damage. Upon flames in particular should, I mean open flames in particular should be, be kept away from the object. When a man who is 17 years of age signs his name into the space labeled graduating student, he will disappear for 4 to 10 minutes and return 4 years later. The subject seems to have lived those years as a student up at blank between 19 blank and 19 blank, graduating on the date written on the document, and earned a degree in whatever subject he was thinking of signing while he was thinking of while signing the document. Whether he blank offered classes in that subject in 19 blank or not, the test on SCP-1066 will change to reflect this. The subject will have no memory of how the four years of the four years not directly related to the subject of study. See that then 1066-1 for more details. There's no effect when a woman signs her name on SCP-1066, as uh, this university was awful in the 1900s. This is unsurprising. A lot of things were awful back then. Anyway. It is worth knowing that approximately blank percent of subjects do not survive the four years. In these cases, their course will return with the expected amount of decay. The death rate is not consistent with that of students at blank and 19 blank. However, these results are skewed since many subjects have been ordered to think of mimetic effects or dangerous SCP objects. SCP-1066 was recovered from the campus of blank on an unknown date. The administration has been offering an accelerated learning program to students for a standard for year tuition plus a fee of blank dollars. It is unknown why nobody knows the, app, the rapid aging of some graduates. If this is the property of the object, it is yet to be discovered. The object was retrieved without casualties and class B of Nest administered to the administration and all recorded graduates. It's very likely that some or mostly graduates were not all recorded, but the risk of any graduates revealing the, exist of the existence of SCP-1066 is low, and as such, finding them recorded uh, as such, finding them is a low priority task. Similarities between in the effects of SCP-1066 and SCP-28 have been noted. An investigation into a common origin or whether one anomaly is an altered version of the other is ongoing. <sighs> Name, Dr. P. Arena. Date unknown. I'm just going to skip the, the date. That's annoying. Subject, D-1066-1. So we're simply instructed to sign the document. 
This helps you gain a degree in allegraphy. Review of experiment Aves indicated the subject had been focusing and turning outside the document and his best handwriting. This was handwriting and showed a marked improvement after the test. He had no memories of the time in which he was gone. So it was terminated on schedule at the end of the month. <sighs> Additional comments. Subject gained the tattoo of the phrase, the pen is mightier than the sword. Translated into Chinese, on his left pectoral. Name, date, skipping that. Subject is D1066-5. Subject was instructed to think of it as his favorite animal. He started gained a degree in marine mammal biology. When the question is said that his favorite animal was the dolphin. The subject also had vivid screams, dreams of scuba diving next to various marine mammals until he was terminated at the end of the month. Additional comments. The subject so out familiarity with scuba equipment after the test. When asked, so you claimed you never to have never taken a scuba certification course. Subject 1066-7. Mimetic SCP blank was described to the subject who was instructed to think of only of that while signing the document. <sighs> Results. Subject gained the green mimetic studies. However, subject refused to communicate in any way with the researchers as a retardee and was terminated on schedule. Additional comments. No luck training researchers with this thing so far. Dr. P. Verano. D. 1066-14. Subject was also trying to think of the phrase advanced memetics. Subject showed above average intelligence and standard D class screening. Results. Subject returned to the vegetative state consistent with the effects of redacted. Additional comments. Subjects 9 through 13 were instructed were all instructed to think of magnetic effects and all returned strong signs of exposure to some sort of magnetic agent known to the foundation in, in the 1900s. Dr. P. Verino. This test was, was done by a research assistant. Information. This was an unauthorized test. Research assistant Blank was apparently trying to gain sufficient credentials to be promoted to re full researcher. Research assistant Blank returned with a degree in SCP studies. The SCP in this case apparently is an acronym for supercomputer processors. He now has a knowledge of supercomputer which is consistent with the year 19 with the year is within 1900s. Additional comments. Research Rich assistant blank was demoted to clearance level zero and transferred from sword site twenty-three. And that was SCP ten sixty-six, also known as instant education. It's a piece of paper that if you write your name on it, you get instant education of whatever subject you happen to be thinking of. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And if not, then I guess you just wasted about 9 minutes of your life. I hope you're proud of yourself. I'll be seeing you next time with more, more content. Goodbye!